this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septum Sin vs. the World. I'm Septum Sin. This is Kotobuki Jake. Hi. And we're here to show you what we got. Yeah. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Oh boy. Good stuff. Yes, indeed. Six this time. Yep. So, mine will be split into two parts. I'm still following the theme of... Very recent pickups, basically yeah. holiday season, but a couple are a little earlier than that. And, <clears throat> but it's split into two very distinct parts. The first part is Criterion. Mm -hmm. And this one, actually, amazingly enough, this is a rather pricey one that I got for free because um, in the summer <coughs> sale, uh, my mom made a purchase on a whim. We watched one of the films, and she was not blown away, and ultimately decided to let me have the set. Oh. So, this is a Rossellini and Bergman set. Cool. Which is in, of course, Roberto Rossellini and Ingrid Bergman, films by starring, you know. And it features Stromboli... The English language version, Stromboli Teledidio, of uh, the Italian language version, Europe 51, which is the Europe, the English language version, mm -hmm. Europa 51, which is the Italian language version, and Journey to Italy. So far, we have watched the English language version of Stromboli, and it was kind of slow and tedious. But that's Bergman. It's Ingrid Bergman does, it's not what most people, it's not what my mom was thinking of when she thinks Ingrid Bergman. It's probably not what most people think of. If I remember correctly, R uh, Rossellini, I think you have a trilogy of his. Yep, I do. It's like, he is um, artsy. Uh, this will be a good time for us to hear from our friend Jay Sherman. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> but... It's a really nice looking set. It's really well put together. It does have a lot in it. And I'm very happy to have this in the collection. I will eventually watch all of these films. Not going to be super enthused about that, but um, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, Stromboli's a good film. Just not a uh, thrill a minute. Yeah, <laughs> think about it. Bergman isn't French. No, no. <laughs> and neither is Rossellini, for that matter. Oh, well, I'm using but... the other Jay Sherman quote. <gasps> a penguin? And he's been drinking. Wait a minute. Penguins can't fly. Penguins can't fly! Ah, that good time. <laughs> All right. This one is just as artistic. Mm. I managed to just put this one on because I finished it today in mm. order to try and do a discussion tomorrow uh -huh. on it. Uh, they have been doing a... Um, on our... Well, on one of our partner sites, Inside Movies Galore, they've been doing some discussions prior to our show of a uh, double feature of Flesh Gordon and Flesh Gordon 2. So now they're finishing it up, and I'm going to try and join them on this, and you thought about attempting to. I'll have to see it first. For the yeah. film Flash Gordon. Mm -hmm. 
Now, this is one I've needed to get in my collection for a long time. Right. I've listened to the soundtrack constantly. When I was younger, and I was really into Queen in high school, and I was into music, I would listen to music like over and over again until I memorized every bit of it. And uh, they counted the Flash Gordon soundtrack as one of their albums. Hmm. So I had to get it and listen to it over and over again. So the soundtrack is very familiar to me. And because it's a Queen soundtrack, I really did need to get this anyway. <clears throat> and it's kind of cool. It's about this football player who, you know, because all football players are the he American heroes at, at the time that it was put out. Um... And then in 1980, when this is put out, it's kind of almost a um, thumbing their uh, th th thumbing themselves at Star Wars, hmm. which it does have some odd, striking features. The set pieces are very garish, hmm. and the costume design is really cool to really stupid. It kind of has to be seen to believe. It's well worth a watch. <laughs> so, Good deal. I think I want to borrow it. Yeah, I'm going to want to see this. I hope I have time for some of the features, too. We'll I didn't have time for the features, so... <laughs> we'll see. But, at any rate, <laughs> good times. That's one I need to see, too. Um, speaking of things I need to get into the collection, this next two are both ones I've been needing to get for some time. <laughs> and I have been negligent in doing so. Uh, this one is one of Criterion's really fancy sets, so it costs a little bit more, and that's one of the reasons for the delay. But this is one of the most acclaimed and uh, quoted Easily one of the most quoted Marlon Brando films ever. I'm speaking, uh, yeah. of course, of On the Waterfront. I think I have that in that Oscar Could have been a contender. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this one's a good movie. It is good. I've only seen it once. Hmm. I was impressed by it. This was an Elia Kazan film that, if I remember correctly... Was this the one that got him blacklisted, or it was like right after he was blacklisted or something? Yeah. Uh, something along those lines. But it's also, you've got Lee J. Cobb, Rod Steiger, Carl Malden, Eva Marie Saint. Actually, introducing Eva Marie Saint. Um, music by Leonard Bernstein. I mean, the pedigree on this was very impressive. It's a really good film. This is a two-disc bonus nice one. collection, which is why it was a little more. It was the 25 instead of the usual 20 hmm. as part of the, you know, half-off sale. But this was one, again, I needed this in the collection. It was a long time coming. Glad I finally got it. I wonder how it compares to the set I have. Uh, you can even see the set back on the Criterion shelf because it sticks out, that... that uh the Columbia Pictures. Oh, right, right. That one there, it's like, because yeah. I believe it has that on there. Uh, and it's a really good set, so. Yeah. So the next one is a video game. I got this on Black Friday. This is a almost brand new game. I wanted to put my, it was 40 bucks, so it's still fairly expensive for me. But it was, but it's worth it because EA has been putting out crap for so long. <laughs> and they put out something that's halfway decent and a single player experience. And you kind of have to vote with your dollars if you're going to actually, you know, encourage them to do right. So, of course, I'm talking about Jedi Fallen Order, the deluxe edition. Mm. I got this for 40 bucks, which is not bad. I got it on the Xbox because I got an Xbox One X. I have a, the Xbox One X and PS Pro, but the Xbox One X will run this the smoothest mm -hmm. unless I had, like, like a $1,000 computer or something, mm -hmm. which I'm not getting a thousand dollars so i'm pretty i'm pretty stoked about this i really want to get it mm -hmm. uh get into it but unfortunately i'm starting death stranding now so mm -hmm. i'm probably going to be playing death stranding for like years and years mm -hmm. and years but I, i'll get there so still pretty cool you forgot to mention that timothy dalton Max von Sydow and Brian Blessed are in Flash Gordon. Oh, I, I, I was saving that for the discussion. <laughs> oh, okay. Especially the Brian Blessed, because that's just, he's great. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, but nothing screams quality like Timothy Dalton. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> well, granted, I loved Hot Fuzz. So anyway, my last one, as I have stated before <coughs> on this channel, uh, I have a rule that I'm going to have to start breaking soon. Mm -hmm. But that is, during the Criterion 50% off sale, I get a Charles Chaplin film. And right this time, <laughs> this time around, I got the Gold Rush. Yeah, good one. Which is a good one, and it's uh, it's a fun film. A chaplain goes up to Alaska, if I remember correctly, to be a prospector. And um, you know, it's like most Charles Chaplin films. It's a lot of uh, physical comedy, some rather clever set pieces, and that sort of thing. And um, this has actually got a two versions, the 1925 version and the 1942 version, um, plus a crap ton of bonus features. So this is a really yeah. nice set. And one of these days, I'm really going to launch into my Chaplin film. Just to like a Chaplin film yeah, festival. Huh? I could, yeah. But this is, uh, again, a long time coming. This is one of the oldest feature films I've seen, so I'm definitely looking forward to revisiting it. Yeah. Not the oldest one I've seen uh, by far. Actually, you've well, seen well, you've seen Birth of a Nation. I said one of the oldest. <laughs> 1925 is when this originally came out. So I've seen older than that on a yeah. regular basis. Well, I don't know about I that. Mean, I've seen I've maybe seen, three or four of them. Marx older. Brothers films. No, none of them are older. I think one of them is in the 20s. Yeah, the Coconuts was 29. Yeah, yeah. So older. Birth of a Nation, Battleship Potemkin, mm -hmm. The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Yeah. You saw L'Inferno, didn't you? L'Inferno. And some short films. No, That's it's, probably mostly... I saw all those Melee's films. Those are short films. Yeah. No, you know. yeah. Now, it's hard to get further back feature film-wise yeah. than in L'Inferno. Right. Uh, but I love those because they have a lot of his short films, which are much mm -hmm. older than the 20-some. Yeah, this uh, one includes... Specials. I don't know if this one has any of his short films. I actually think I've got all of it's these. It's got a lot of uh, documentaries releases. and stuff. So I want to say I've got all of the Charlie Chaplin releases that Criterion has done so far. Yeah. They need to do a set. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. So this next one, again, on my quality radar. I, I haven't been batting too bad. <laughs> I think it's about time that I, that I did a swing and a miss. <laughs> so we're going to talk about... Annabelle. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is out of print. Really? Yes. <clears throat> so, I recently got, went ahead and I was uh, getting into these because they were insanely cheap on Black Friday. Mm -hmm. The ones in the series. Mm -hmm. Except for Annabelle. Which is, like I said, it's out of print. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of beat up a little bit, but uh, it does play. I've looked through it. And, you know, it's a really kind of lackluster creepy doll film about mm -hmm. a creepy doll that doesn't do anything <laughs> it just kind of sits there i'm hoping that the other films in this series do a little bit more with it good deal <laughs> all right speaking of stuff that's out of print um this one i actually hesitated on because they uh it was on the right stuff sale so that's the second half of mine it's the right stuff sale <laughs> and this one i hesitated on uh because they were only offering the first part and i didn't want to get stuck with just the first part but on the other hand i wanted to have whatever i could get and the price frankly was too good to pass up so i figured i'd go for it this is one of the several anaplex items that they've put up for sale this time around forty dollars for one half of a series is yeah. pretty good for their price and i'm talking about www.magnaria uh, volume one just need to get that other part. i need volume two but like i said they only had one up but i know 40 bucks is a hell of price for that yes, and it is. uh and I love the main series, so I really want to have the spin-off series. So, yeah, I went ahead and grabbed it. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't feel like it was as good as the original, but it was mm -hmm. still pretty good. Mm -hmm. And it does encapsulate. The story is actually, it begins and ends. <laughs> good. 
So I got an anime, and this one was off of, I compared the prices, and Amazon managed to take it at a price, and I was just, I've been wanting the series for a while because mm -hmm. of who's involved in it. Mm -hmm. uh, the same person who did uh, Night nice Short Walked On Girl. Ah. And uh, I've been trying to collect all of the, the stuff the person's been involved with. Mm -hmm. So I said, this, this series has been expensive for a while, and it's been on the sale, but I found it for 30 hmm. which is the cheapest I've ever seen it, and that's sad. <laughs> and what we're talking about is the series Space Dandy. Was he involved with that? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that. I don't think he was involved in all the episodes, but he did some of them. Ah. So, again, I wanted this series anyway, yeah. because I like the... Um, it well, looks fun. I mean... I, I like Space... Uh, I've heard it's similar to uh, Space Adventure Cobra or something like that. Uh, but, you know, it's pretty cool to see these. They're kind of like uh, yeah. color-wise. But it's two parts that have been put into one. Mm -hmm. This is the complete collection. Right. And they're selling, like, the single parts for 35 a piece. Mm. So, you know, and uh, Right Stuff had it for, like, 38 Yeah. Which isn't terrible. Mm. But uh, 30 I was one to do. That's pretty good, yeah. Good, good deal, good deal. The next one, I feel like I overpaid, but it's as cheap as I've ever seen it. And I finally, after going back and forth and back and forth <laughs> and back and forth and back again and forth again, I finally decided, yeah, I want this. And it's a movie, again, an Anaplex release. And they put, there are several different ways of buying it, but I had to go big or go home. And so this is the Anohana movie, Ooh. the collector's set that comes with the soundtrack. Ah. And I, like I said, I, I thought about it and thought about it. The basic Blu-ray, I think, was, what, 30? Yeah. This one was 45, but... It, I think the soundtrack actually includes music from the series, and the series had some pretty awesome music, So and songs. I think the songs are on there. You've been wanting that movie for a while. I've been wanting it for a while, <coughs> and I absolutely love the Anohana series. I've heard the movie doesn't quite do it justice, but it's still worth having. Yeah. And like I said, I finally decided, the hell with it, I want this version. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get this version. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. expensive, but it's but. better than what it could be. Right. Yeah. All right. This next one. This is one that I had to get when I came out, which is good because it was all off of the shelves when I went to Best Buy and got this steelbook. Ah. And I, I didn't expect it to fly off the shelves. Hmm. And we're talking about It Part 2. Oh. Now, you can't really see the cover here. Let me see if I can get this peeled off. Oh, there. You can show that part, maybe. You know. There you go. There, we go. there you go. So, as you can see, that's yeah. not a bad cover. Sure. A lot of people sure. like that cover. Yeah. I mean, it's got the 4K. So, now I've got both uh, versions of it. Mm hmm So, you know, I'm not... too sad about, uh, about it. I mean, it still cost me... Like a new 4K would. Yeah. But it was worth getting because apparently this is one that sold out pretty darn quickly. Hmm. <clears throat> and I hate having it lopsided with one steel book. Right. Mm. This one was the lesser of the two. <laughs> but still a decent film. All right. So, my last one this week... This one's big. This one was actually what really triggered... These two were the others that came with it. This was really what triggered this particular purchase. Ooh. Um, I have tried reasonably hard, but not as hard as he has, to try to keep up with the Sailor Moon franchise. Hmm. Here, I do not feel like I want to pay full price for each volume as it comes out. Yeah. I did that with the first volume of the first series. And I was like, I can't keep this up. 
So I have been hunting deals whenever possible, and I have been specifically hunting limited editions yeah. whenever possible. Unfortunately, what I have seen offered, I haven't looked to see what's been put up this week, and if they have more, I will have to jump on them. But I and the, I know a couple of the movies were on the sale, and I was this close to getting a couple of the movies, and I still may do this. Hmm. But this was something I could not turn away from because the initial pricing has generally been about 65 to 70 yeah. per piece. Yes. And that includes both the art box versions and the ones that come after. Yes. It is freaking expensive. This does that. Uh, and I can, and not Anaplex bad, but still bad. Yes. And granted, they look really cool, they and do. their art boxes are much sturdier than the uh, Aniplex art boxes. But I still have to, you know, last year I was fortunate enough to get the first halves of R and S. Still waiting for those second halves. <laughs> but this time I managed to get one series in all in one go. And I had to jump on it. Hmm. And that was Sailor Moon Super S. Hey, good. Part 1. Part 2, which of course slips into Part 1. And then the art cards that come with Part 2 because I bought the bonus edition. And I also got the little coin, that come, the gift with purchase coin. Yeah. Um, so I now have the entirety of Super S. And I don't remember the exact pricing, but I do know that both volumes combined cost about what this has been running. So it was probably not more than 60 for both volumes. Yes, I'm very happy. Even though I've heard this is the red-headed stepchild of the <laughs> series, I still am very happy to have it. And if I can get the second half of r and I'm going to start actively watching this series. Because uh -huh. all I ever got through was R, so it would be nice to finish. But I want to do it kind of, you know, without having to wait long yes. periods of time <laughs> between them. But like I said, I saw that I had to jump on that. that was, so I'm very happy there. Yeah. See, now mine is one, like I said, that you've got. Mm -hmm. You got for probably like, uh, probably almost a hundred dollars, maybe maybe a hundred and fifty cheaper than me. Really? Well, probably not a hundred and fifty oh. cheaper than me because then it would have cost me zero. Oh. Uh, so, now we're I think talking. I know what you got about. Uh, yeah. This my first full size pony can at least. Nice. You got it for like what thirty or something like that. Ish. Yeah. So, you know, still, I mean, look at the size of that. That is yeah. just cool. It's like NIS size. Cool. I'll probably never buy another one of these unless it's an extremely good series. But the right stuff actually put a couple of these series up yeah. for sale with these kind of sets. And that's not a bad, yeah. it wasn't a bad price, all things considered. It wasn't your price. They were, what, about 55 per or 45 per? No, they were like close in the lower 50s per. It only yeah. cost me 150 with my yeah. with the... With okay. a slight discount, so okay. yeah. So still very cool. I can't I can't get his luck on eBay with with these types of sets. <laughs> You've gotten good luck on some things, no doubt about it. But that was just freakishly weird. That whole thing. Yeah, that actually uh, one of the ones that this vendor had that I got them from. The third series they had up is one of the ones that's partially on sale now. And that's the, uh, what is it, Roco the Five or whatever it's called. Um, but I don't think they have that whole series, do they? Isn't it just I don't like, think so. Yeah. And they've got a couple that are incomplete from Anaplex yeah. up there, like the Dinky guy or whatever it is. Or no, like... Uh, no, no, this is Dinky guy. There yeah. is one that got, that's like, it's volume two or three that's Something missing. Like that, and yeah. you can't even find it on eBay. That's yeah. how hard it is as yeah. you're like okay don't want to go through that again that was my sound euphoria moment. well that's like uh mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons i jumped uh, a couple weeks back that thing with puella madoka magica yeah. they've been putting up volume one on right stuff for what like four years now yeah and that's the only thing they've been doing because volumes two and three have been 
Oh, yeah. God. That's the other problem with Pony Can and yeah. Anaplex is they're not yeah. afraid to let their stuff go out of print. No. So you either want it or you don't want it, essentially. Yeah. Very cool. Well, with that being said... Yep. It's got like a plastic case over this, too. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You can see it's got like a little... Right. And if y'all recall when I presented these, they have like enormous art cards and just all kinds of yeah. really cool stuff. And soundtracks, you know, which are nice. So yeah, mine is yeah. not open yet and probably won't be ever, <sighs> but, uh, you know. But still. You would enjoy that show. You would. I, I, I'm sure I'll enjoy most of the shows I've collected. <laughs> and once I add this other find to the rest of my stuff, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's going to be just huge. Mm -hmm. I spent hundreds of dollars that I don't need to be spending on these sales. Mm -hmm. I'll be probably having enough to do pickups for a good half of the year. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, mm -hmm. I hope you've enjoyed this pickup. And we will see you on the next one. The Christmas one. Yes. Goodbye.